Hello and a very pleasant morning to you all, children, students, as we join in another session of Growing Up with Values with Auntie Drews. A very warm welcome and I'm happy to see so many of you all again this morning. And go through this, this song, just uh, the last week. And I'm sure you all remember this story about a girl who, and her brother who went into the grocery and she got more change than she paid and she was honest enough to answer it and let's just go through this this uh, song it's kind of a difficult song and we'll go through the song before we go into our lesson for today and it is to the tune of baba black sheep think what will happen if you tell lies surely it will come as no surprise when all your friends say to you we don't trust you, so goodbye. Okay, once more. Think what will happen yeah. if you tell lies. Surely it will come as no surprise when all your friends say to you, We don't trust you, so goodbye. Yeah. And now, today, we are going to learn about what you should do and what you should not do every day of your life we are going to talk about keeping a clean seal and before we go into our session for today i would like you all to sit quietly uh-huh i'm waiting and you are sitting very calmly and your eyes are closed okay as usual we close our eyes and we are going to think of something really beautiful. Have you ever been in a garden where there are rows and rows of flowers, trees, and the, the flowers are blooming? The scent of the flowers and you are enjoying your and rows of flowers and you are sitting there with your eyes closed and you are imagining all these rows and the birds are singing they are chirping in, in the surrounding trees there is a feeling of peace all over you it is such a beautiful, beautiful place. The gardens are well kept. The trees are well shaped and the flowers are all in bloom. And you want to yourself, what a beautiful place I am in. And you sit with your eyes closed and you imagine it. This is such a clean place. Surrounded by all that is beautiful, all that is smelling so fragrant. And slowly you open your eyes. You open your eyes, and I am sure. If I ask you how you are feeling after that experience, what would you say? Yeah. You are feeling very calm. So we have Brent on one hand and we have Daryl on the other hand. And mommy and daddy will always teach them the good things, what they should do and what they should not do. And one of the things that mommy and daddy taught them to do is always keep your rooms tidy. Always keep your own bodies clean. Clean and keep yourselves clean. So I think all your parents teach you that, right? Okay, right. So these two children were very different as you will see. 
they look similar, but their habits were not the same. So Brent always had his room neat and tidy. He would do his whole work. He would tidy his room. He would go out and play. And he, he was what you would call kind of like a perfect child. Daryl, on the other hand, he was just very playful. He couldn't be bothered with what mommy and daddy did. And he would often get very annoyed if they keep pestering him about making sure your room is clean and all of that. So mommy and daddy were working parents as well. So they would have to leave the house early. And mommy would just look over the door as, as most a lot of parents do. Look into the room, see that it was tidy and, and take it for granted that it was tidy. So she would open Brent's door and Brent's room would be that tidy. Books packed away, drawers closed, cupboards tidy and everything. When she went to Daryl's room, Oh, wow, Daryl is cleaning up as well. So, tell mommy that, yes, mommy, I cleaned my room, I cleaned my room. And so it Brent. But every time, mommy would believe that. But on a Saturday, when mommy was not working, she would go and she would examine the rooms more closely. She would sweep and all of that. So she used to always find things Brent would, room would be good and tight. She would open the cupboards. Everything would be in place. She would sweep under the bed and all of that. But on, on a Sunday morning, Saturday morning, sorry, when she went to Daryl's room and she looked under the bed, there was wrappers and bits of paper and pencil shavings and all of those things. And when she opened the cupboard, it was a mess. He didn't hang his clothes. He didn't fold his clothes. Everything would be just jam-packed. So she would call Darren and say, Darren, come on, please. Come, son, what is wrong here? And Darren said, Mommy, Mommy, I'll fix it, I'll fix it, I'll fix it. And as much as she tries to fix it, she would fix it, but you don't know what would happen in the next week. So one day, the both boys were invited to a party. Favorite friends. So they were looking forward excitedly to this party. And making plans that when we go there, we're going to have swim and we're going to play games and, and all sorts of stuff. So Daryl and Brent were really, really looking forward to this party. Unfortunately, the party was on a Saturday. So that is mommy's general cleaning day. And went to Brent's room, and of course, she swept the room, and the bed was clean, the cupboards were packed, clothes in order and everything. When she went in Daryl's room, however, she went to sweep under the bed. And what do you think? Uh-huh. Right. Yes, you're correct. Under the bed, she found all the usual things. Snack packs, wrappers, toffee wrappers, chocolate wrappers, pencil shaving, bits of paper, here, there, and everywhere. So she called her, and when she opened, now, she went into Brent's room, the bed was made up, nice pillow here, covers neat. When she went to Daryl's room, bed here, wow, under the bed, all of these things, papers, this, that, the other. And as she opened the cupboard door, what happened? Everything came down to the floor, helter skelter. Clothes, shoes, this, that, the other. Everything came down on the ground. And she was really, really, really upset. How do you think a mother go, felt when she says a room looking like Daryl, she shouted. Come in, mommy, come in, mommy, come in, mommy. When Daryl. Daryl, oh, mom, oh, mom, what is all of that? Daryl pretended not to know what it was, right? And he is the one who made the mess. So mommy said, Daryl, I am tired talking to you about keeping your room clean. This, what is all of this? Under the bed, in the cupboard, in the drawers, everything was untidy. So she said, Daryl, you know, I am tired. 
tired talking to you. Your daddy and I are tired speaking to you. What do we do now? And you're not learning a lesson. Go and look at Brent's room. And Darrell bent his head in shape because he knew that Brent's room was extremely tidy. So Darrell said, Mommy, I promise I will clean my room. I promise. She, Mommy says, Darrell, you promise me every Saturday that you're going to keep your room clean. Why is your room so untidy? Mommy, I'm going, I promise I promise. But he never kept his promise. So this day, Mommy said, Darrell, you know what? You have a party to go to today. I feel that you are going to stay home and tidy your room. You are going to clean under your bed. You are going to tidy your cupboards. You will fold your clothes and hang up what has to be hung up. And that is your punishment because I am tired talking to you, Daryl. I am fed up, fed up, fed up. And have you all ever seen your mommies and daddies so fed up? I don't think so. You all are very, very good children. So you tidy your rooms, right? Sarvesh, Aruna, I'm sure you all tidy your rooms. Good. So Daryl promised, but his mommy was, wasn't taking it so easy because he had lots and lots of chances. So his punishment was that he would stay home while daddy took Brent to the party. And how do you think Daryl felt? He was really, really disappointed and hurt, but he had to pay the consequences of his action. Right, so I, I hope you, that you all learn from that story and you, you identify with Brent who was keeping his room neat and tight. And now, Sharvi and Nishesh, I am sure you all are keeping your, keeping your room and Sakshi. Sakshi, I know Sakshi keeps her very clean. And now I would like to ask you all some questions and let me hear if you will know the answers. Right, so answer loudly so mommy and daddy can hear your answers. So where did this family live? Right, you shouted all the answers, St. Joseph, right. And the Johnson's family lived in St. Joseph. How many children were there in the family? Right, that's an easy one. Right. Two twins, Daryl and Brett. How old were the twins? Right, 11. Now, which one of the boys did not keep his room tidy? Right, that's easy. What were some of the things that mommy found in Daryl's room. What are some of the things that mommy finds in your room? Good, I don't think she, she finds anything that would make your room untidy. Right, you all keep clean rooms. Now, how did you feel when mommy found out that Daryl had stolen his bed. Right, I think Daryl needed a little spanking. You would agree? Right, I think he would need a little, little spanking. But a nice, loving spanking. What was Daryl's punishment? Right, do you think mommy is right to punish? Yes, I think so too. And she spoke to him over and over and over and nothing was happening. How do you feel? Dar how, how do you think, Dar Yes, he would feel really sad. He will feel disappointed. What did he promise? Right. He promised that he would keep his room neat and tidy. And that is what he should have been doing since mommy started to speak to him about it. Right. Sarvesh, yes. You said yes about keeping a clean room. All from the United Kingdom. Viresh, I am sure mommy seen as well. Right, so all you children should be keeping a clean scene. 
And now we we speak about the environment, but what do you think about your own self? I am sure you all. I am sure you heard the word coronavirus. You always hear coronavirus nowadays, and you know what that means. That means you need to keep your own self clean. You wash your hands. You wash your face. You don't touch your face, and all of those things that you have been hearing all along. So we learn just now that we have to keep, keep our environment clean. We learn now that we have to keep our bodies clean. But there is something else that we need to keep clean as well. Last week we talked about honest and thought, word and deed. Today we're going to talk about clean, clean thoughts, words and deeds as well, as well. And this is, instead of the word clean, we talk about pure thoughts, right? Now, a thought is something that you have up here. For example, and you would see it in your school. I don't think you all will be guilty of it. But there are some children, we call them bullies. They have bullies in, in schools and classrooms. And I don't think any one of you all can be described as a bully. Because bullies think bad thoughts. Right? And that's not a person that you want to associate with. Bullies think, oh, that boy is so quiet or that girl is so quiet. Let us go and give them trouble. And they laugh at those children. They say unkind and mean things about them. And that is being impure. That's being dirty in thought. Right? So we need to keep clean and pure thoughts. So we always think about helping those who are less fortunate than us. Helping those who are more needy than us. And People sometimes, children are very quiet and withdrawn. And you want to know why. Those are children that you have to go and make friends with. Right? Those are children that you, you get them to open up and talk to you in a nice way. You speak to them lovingly and you will, they will open up to you. Sometimes children feel very shy and afraid. And you stretch a hand and help them out in that. So you think to yourself, oh my, that child needs a friend. And you go and you, have, you, you talk to that child. And so you have clean thoughts and you spread your love around. And most of all, words, words. One thing that you can never bring back is your word. So when you speak, you must think of what you are saying. For example, how do bullies talk? They speak in a very mean way. They make people feel bad. People cannot, people fear them. They run and they hide from bullies. So bullies sometimes speak bad things. They do bad things. Now, a very little uh, uh, example of this. For example, Darren in the story. They said, Daryl. And Daryl said, what would you say? You would, would you say, yes, mommy, I'm coming? Would you say, oh gosh, mommy, I'm coming just now. Oh God, mommy, don't bother me. Nah. This, this is how children speak nowadays. Right? This is the reality of the situation. So you to yourself, when mommy calls you, do you say, yes, mommy, I'm coming now? Oh God, mommy, don't call me now. I'm playing on the phone. Oh God, don't bother me, nah, mommy. Which one would you answer to? Yes, mommy, I'm coming now. Right? So you, your words mean a lot. The way you speak means a lot. You always speak nice, sweet, soft words. You don't be gruff. You don't grumble. And then some children in school, I am sure you would meet children who use inappropriate words. Words like curse words and swear words. You don't use that at all. God doesn't like children who speaks rudely and speaks bad words. So be, be, stay away from bullies. If you cannot change them, if you have a friend who is somewhat like a bully and you could put that child down and say, oh gosh, that is not the correct way to behave. You could change that person because the person would look at you and say, this child behaves so well. I would love to behave like that child. So sometimes you in your words could change another. Now, Vashti, yes, you agree with me. And that always help ever hurt never so with your actions your words your deeds help ever hurt never right so i would like you all to take that so those are being clean in thoughts words and deeds 
do not ever use his hands to do anything that would hurt someone you use his hands to, these hands to help others to do something good for others right so be clean in your thoughts your words and your deeds and i would like you all to practice those and last week we learned about honesty and honesty was Okay, so we did this last week. Now, today I would like to share with you a poem that was written by Sakshi. And we speak about keeping a clean scene. And I told her to make something up for, on, on Corona for me. So here's Sakshi contribution. Can you all see it? It's Corona time, so you better stay inside. You don't want to play with it, so you better hide. You can do fun things inside with the family, so you don't have to only watch TV. Wear masks when you're outside the house. Only come out in emergencies and not to room. Make sure to stay six feet apart. If so, you would stay healthy and smart. Make sure and watch Auntie Drops, that's me. Live stream, she always makes things better, no matter how bad it seems. And thank you so much, Sakshi. Sakshi composes herself, and I'm very proud of her. And I would like you all to each one of you all to think of things and send to me. I will put on read them on the program and I hope you will be part of this exercise. So thank you, Sakshi. Um, I don't think I have time to read it any again. So that's it. And she put a lot of thoughts and thought into it, and I'm very proud of that. So I would like to hear from you all as well. No. Next week, next week is going to be a very, very special day. Next week, Sunday. What day is next week, Sunday? How many of you all know? Ah, right, right. Next week, Sunday is a very, very important day in the lives of each one of us because it is going to be, shh, it's a secret, right? It's going to be Mother's Day. And Mother's Day is a day when we honor our mothers. And all mothers should be appreciated on this day. So what I want you to do for me is write a, a little poem, make a little card, write a little story about your mom. Write words of appreciation because I am sure each one of you all out there love mommy so 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 much so you write something and you send it to me don't forget you send it to me at three seven four six nine six eight whatsapp okay and i hope mommy doesn't hear this but maybe your daddy can message it to me and i'll put it on program next week so all of you write some words because everybody loves their mom is there anybody here who does not love their mom no i don't think so everybody loves their mom if you can make up a nice song with your mom if you can say something sweet about your mom or whatever whatever just send it to me and i'll get it and we'll leave it next week so i would just like to extend great birthday greetings to two very special people in our lives First one is Pandit Munilal Maharaj, who celebrates his birthday on Thursday coming. So Muni, we wish you all the best for your birthday. And these greetings and Swami's blessings coming to you from Pandit and myself, from Navi Sakshi Vaishnavi, from Niran Radhika Sharvi, and Nishesh, from your parents, from Chiklan, all your sisters. And we love you so very much. You are doing such a good job. 
it bring comfort and joy through your uh, your live stream programs on three days for the week monday um tuesday thursdays and saturdays money we do love you very much we appreciate all you are doing and on behalf of all the fans happy birthday on thursday and then to our brother kenrick sitahal kenrick you are such a hard worker at our center kenrick we do love you and we appreciate you so very much you very quietly come do what you have to do clean under the people tree do whatever you you think you can do and you go home very quietly and we appreciate all that you do kenrick and we love you very much and this is from pandit and our entire circle and all the members of the Shagun and Sai Center. So to Pandit Milal and, and Kenrick, we, uh, we love you very much. Happy birthday and Swami's blessings always. And I think we now have time to read the Sakshi's po poem again. Sakshi, we do it again. We have a few minutes more. It's Corona time and all you children listen and this is a message for all of you. Each one of you all pay attention to the words on the board. If you would like a copy, you send and you ask me for it. It's Corona time, so you better stay inside. You don't want to play with it, so you better hide. You can do fun things inside with the family, so you don't have to only watch TV. You wear a mask when you're outside the house. All talk about emergencies and not to roam. Make sure to stay six feet apart. If so, you would stay healthy and smart. Make sure and watch Auntie Drup's live stream. She always makes things better, no matter how bad it seems. And these are words that you should live by. You have to be careful with your own health. You have to be careful when you are around people. You have to stay healthy, stay safe, and be good to yourselves. And be good to your mommies and daddies, and be good to your grannies, and be loving children, as loving as you can be. And Auntie Drup said that you must always listen. You must listen to your parents, okay? So it's time for us to finish, and as usual, I love you all so much. Keep in tune in and send me your poems on Mother's Day. And all best wishes to you. And goodbye for today until next week Sunday. And love you guys. Bye guys. All the best.